anybody here, along with Sherman and my incomparable invention, the Wayback Machine. Set the indicator for the year 1513. Our target is the Isthmus of Darien. Huh? Oh, we know it now as the Isthmus of Panama. Oh! And today we shall witness an earth-shaking discovery. Uh, can you guess what it is? I sure can. The discovery of the first Panama hat. That is next week, Sherman. Today, it's the discovery of the Pacific Ocean, and we'll be in the company of that great Spanish explorer, Vasco Nunez de Balboa. The way back wasted little time in depositing us in a small jungle clearing, and there, ankle deep in a mud puddle, stood Balboa. In the name of His Majesty the King, I christen you the Pacific Ocean. I beg your pardon, Senor Balboa, but you've made a mistake. Ah, the salty tang of the sea, the sound of the abalone as they fly overhead. You are standing in a puddle, senor. The crashing of the waves and the... Pardon? Mud puddle, Mr. Balboa. Is this is not the Pacific? I'm afraid not, sir. The Pacific Ocean is that way. Oh, muchas gracias, amigos. And with that, Balboa marched off into a pit of quicksand. This is it! This is the Pacific! I'd not descend the beach anywhere. Mr. Balboa, you're sinking! It's just the tide going out. I see. Balboa sank rapidly. If it hadn't been for the frond of a nearby palm tree, we might have had a disaster on our hands. Boy, that was some riptide. But that wasn't the Pacific. No, Lake Erie then. Uh-uh. Hudson's Bay. It was obvious that Senor Balboa needed medical attention, and so the following morning we entered Panama City and sought out the nearest eye doctor. This is all very interesting. Yes, I'm afraid they will have to come out. His eyes? Oh, no, his teeth. You see, he has an eye tooth that has 20-20 vision, but he has very little wisdom in it. What now, Mr. Peabody? Well, Sherman, history books state that Balboa discovered the Pacific, and that's the way it has to be. I'm afraid it's up to us to see that he does discover it. Within an hour, we were at the city limits. Stop, senors. No one is allowed to leave the city. Move aside, soldier. I'm on my way to discover the Pacific. Sorry, senor. But the governor has closed the city until the plans are found. Plans? What plans? The plans for the Panama Canal. Having no alternative, we hurried to the governor's palace. We found his eminence relaxing in a tub of hot water. In the name of his majesty, the king, I christen you the Pacific... No, 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 not yet, Balboa. I'll tell you when. Governor, we must leave Panama. No one leaves Panama until the plans are recovered. Oh, very well. Supposing I give you a new set of plans, will you let us leave then? That depends on the plans. We adjourned to a room containing a large map. I handed the governor a shovel and said, Start digging here and finish there. Brilliant! A brilliant plan! But, Mr. Peabody, Theodore Roosevelt helped build a canal in 1903. Don't worry, Sherman. By the time the governor finishes digging with one shovel, Teddy will be there. Here are your passes, senor. Unfortunately, they weren't passes to exit the city, but passes to a neighborhood movie. However, not one to look a gift governor in the mouth, we sat through a Bob Steele Western and then began our journey. Three weeks later, after fighting our way through the jungle, we broke through onto the beach. Oh, boy! I think I smell a river! It's the ocean, Mr. Balboa, the Pacific! Now you can discover it! Now, Senor Peabody! Now, Senor Balboa! In the name of His Majesty the King, I christen you... Just a moment, sir. You can't discover the Pacific. I already have. Oh, my gosh! Another explorer! Sir Augustus Coney is my name. I discovered this ocean last night. <laughs> you chaps are tardy, you know. Sir Augustus, if Balboa doesn't get credit for this discovery, it will ruin, literally ruin, millions of history books. I should care. Supposing I showed you where to find a piece of land that you could not only discover, but could even name it after yourself. I say, that would be jolly. I drew a map, and Sir Augustus Coney departed. But what did he ever discover, Mr. Peabody? Oh, come, 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 Sherman. You mean you've never heard of Coney Island? <laughs>